Hi guys, it's Vincent and today is episode 2 of my art prompt series. As you can see, the prompt for this episode is cosy. So just like before, I started out with sketching out some rough ideas of what I thought of when I <laughs> when I heard the word cosy. So at first I've got a little lady wrapped up in a blanket and then someone sat in front of a fireplace just showing their feet just like a little living room scene really and then drew someone holding a glass of hot chocolate well a mug of hot chocolate which the hand in that is very bizarre anyway this is what I went with the living room scene as I thought I'd be able to get the most detail in it I thought it was the most interesting one out of everything that I came up with and this is just me lining away. These are the uni pin fine liners. So I started out with just going over all of the bigger areas. The things that I wanted to stand out more. Lined with a 0.8. I then started lining the less important things with, uh, I think that's a 0 0.5. I added a lot more detail into this than what I'd put into my sketch, because in the sketch there was nothing below her feet, they were just kind of floating there, so I figured I should probably add something. And I didn't want to do like a really long chair or sofa or anything, so I put just a little table in front of her. Which then kind of blocked out the rug, which in the initial sketch I'd drawn a little dog curled up on the rug. But then I realised I couldn't do that if I put a table there, so I just put a little cat off to the side. I don't know why I changed it from a dog to a cat, but I did. And I think the cat's really cute, so it's fine. And this just lining all the books and adding all the little itty bitty details. I actually really like the look of this living room. I think it looks really cute. I'd like to hang out in there. <laughs> I really want a house with a fireplace. little teddy bear on the shelf, very important. I have a teddy bear on my shelf and I love him. <laughs> so yeah, this is just lining all the, the little details. I'm pretty sure that's a 0 0.1. Scribbling a little something onto the book, magic. and adding some detail to the wooden floorboards. Awesome, lovely. I love drawing wood textures. I don't know why. I just find it very therapeutic. I do it a lot. I draw a lot of stuff that is made of wood. <laughs> I just like textures. Okay, this is just adding little extra lines to make it look more detailed and whatever. I do it to everything. I don't know why. It's completely unnecessary. Just random lines that make no sense. But there they are. And I like them. And then creating some shadows in areas that need it. Magic. That's the fine lining done. Wow. <laughs> and then on to painting. Uh, starting out with the floorboards. Nice and easy. Just a standard brown. <laughs> I really didn't do a very good job of this. 
with with uh, painting the floorboards. It's very patchy. With all of the big areas that I did on this one, they turned out really patchy. I don't know what I was doing, but whatever. I don't ever have to look at this again if I don't want to. That's fine. <laughs> I still think it turned out cute, but uh, I definitely wasn't paying too much attention to what I was doing technique-wise, because it was all very um, scratchy looking. I don't think I was using a big enough brush and probably not enough water as well. Oh, the little bits. Oh, you can't see what I'm doing there. Good job, me. Some really good filming. Mm hmm Yep. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Look at that little cat. So cute. What am I doing? Oh, I know what I'm doing. There we go. The colour scheme that I decided to use for this living room was completely stolen from the living room that we used to have at my parents' house. I don't live with my parents anymore. I love them a lot, though. And this is basically what uh, the walls looked like in my living room at home before they redecorated, and I loved it. I thought it looked really cool. <laughs> so I stole the idea and used it in my artwork. I'm a thief. Then just adding a creamy colour to the other bits. Once again, stolen from my parents' living room. It's like how people use wallpaper to create like the, what's it called? Like the wall that stands out against all the other walls. There is a word for it, can't remember it. But yeah, that's basically what it was just with paint rather than some fancy wallpaper. I don't know why I didn't finish painting the table all in one go, but clearly I needed to paint the bookcase. Look at a little teddy bear. Oh, there we go. There's the rest of the table. Awesome. Oh, and my head. There is a lot of brown in this image. But I did uh, create a limited colour palette. I already had my uh, colour palette set out before I started painting this, so I knew what colours I was going to use, but I really didn't think about how much of this was going to just be brown. <laughs> Although, as a whole, I do think it looks cute as an image. It's just a lot of brown. A lot of brown. It doesn't look as bad when all the other colours are put on there, but uh, looking at it right now, there's a lot of brown. Just adding little shady shading bits to all the bits that need it. Wow. Nearly done with the brown. Of course, we're adding some more brown. Nice and cohesive with all the brown. They are different shades of brown. How many times can I say brown? Okay, new colours, yay! Skin tone, awesome. Cute little legs. mouse hole for some reason. This house clearly has a mouse because it has a cat. Logic. <laughs> 
adding some shading to the wall, very important. What we do? Oh, grey for the fireplace, lovely. Some stone, always nice. Oh, and for the coaster. I regret making the the sofa orange. I wish I'd made it green, but I didn't. I made it orange. But whatever. It's done now. Can't be changed. Ever. <laughs> and a red chair, of course, to go with the red fireplace. Cute. I really want that chair. I wish it was real. I'm sure one exists like this somewhere in the world. Decorating the socks. Little red polka dots. Totally necessary. Little orange mug once again to go with the colour scheme. Oh, more detail onto the socks. My legs are going numb. <laughs> oh, candles, awesome. If you couldn't tell by the side of the palette that you can see, this is the Windsor & Newton Cotman palette, by the way. I really like it. <laughs> I'm sure many people do. I've seen a few negative reviews, but I personally really like it. This seemed to be the only large section that I managed to get relatively smooth looking. Good job me. And then adding little details to the edge of the rug to make it stand out more and look a little bit more interesting rather than just a flat brown mug mug rug <laughs> good word oh and once again you can't see what I'm doing and I'm painting a kitty that's my favourite part favourite part of the entire illustration is that cat I wish I was joking, but I'm, I'm not. I like the cat. I want the cat. Painting the little balls of yarn, cute. And then starting to add some color to, oh. My camera cut out, but I didn't realize when I was painting the books, so uh, you kind of missed that bit. But I mean, it's, it was just me putting little bits of colour on the books using the same colour scheme that I use for the rest of the room. This is me now adding some detail with just some black, making it look like there is some form of writing on the books, and then just adding little details here and there. Now painting the fire. With a fire it obviously gives off light so I wanted to add like a warm glow to certain parts of the room so on the edge of the table and on the floor and on her toesies and then just doing little doodly paintings inside of the frames cute a little couple there and oh what else oh this is a daisy inspired by Marilyn Manson's grey daisy that's my favorite painting there we go and it's done so this is my version of the word cosy. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you like the image. If not, that's fine. <laughs> and if you like this, please like, comment and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.